this is Monica McGillicuddy. I am doing this short video for the benefit of my non-techie friends. I've had a lot of people send me an email and actually a couple of voicemails asking me, Monica, how do I leave a comment on your blog? Well, this is the posting question that everyone wants to comment on. This is the Realtors Party Political Survival Initiative. This is the post where NAR is proposing a $40 rate increase. Um, basically, all the details are in the post. I'm not going to go into, into it, but I'm going to show you how to leave a comment. There's a couple of ways you can do it. At the very top of the post, you can see this was dated March 22nd, posted by me. And then right over here across the screen where my cursor is pointing, it says leave a comment. If you click that on, you'll go right to the very bottom of the post where you can leave a comment. But I'm going to scroll down because I think it's really important to read it. Uh, there's a couple of great links in here for other articles if you want to read. This first one is particularly good. Agent Genius, they sort of broke the news, um, I think, Monday morning or Sunday night. And Phoenix Real Estate Guy also has a, a great post out. And I've edited today to add a video from the National Association of Realtors President, Ron Phipps, talking about the initiative. So take a few moments, play the video. Make sure you scroll down and you read NAR's position. I took it right off the website so that people who didn't want to sign into Realtor.org didn't have to. And when you get to the very bottom of the post, you can see an option if you're on Twitter. You can tweet this post. And I don't know what happened to my Facebook like, but I'll have to work on that one again. But there's been 32 responses. And um, some people like to read them all, but if you go to the very bottom, I'm scrolling fast, but if you go to the very bottom, after the last post, there'll be a box where you can comment. That's assuming you want to read them all. You'll have to put in your name, it's required, and an email address. It, the email address won't be published, so nobody will have at it. You can also add your website or your blog site here. And then in this white box is where you're just going to type away, you know, give any of your opinion, let us know what you think about this, but, you know, make sure you've read the post and you've listened to the video and all of that. Before you hit this little submit comment button, we have this what we call capture code right here, and you can see it's 8P7B. So I always tell people if you're going to write a long comment to right-click and copy it, because if you mess this up, it'll probably disappear. This code is basically required because we get, literally, Jay and I get thousands of spam comments on our blog a day. And you can imagine it's a nightmare to weed through. So uh, spammers won't bother with this code, and they'll go into the spam box. But this code is 8P7B. You'd have to type it in this little box. And if you want to be notified of follow-up comments or comments after yours, you click this and you just hit submit. We certainly, um, you know, are not going to kick something out because we don't like the opinion. So everything is pretty well posted as is. But yes, you're going to need your name, your email address, uh, websites op optional, of course. But if you're curious about where to get these little pictures that show up, it's called a gravatar. And you can see most people have them and some don't. Um, you get this little blue box. All you need to do is right here on the top box, um, feel free to leave a comment. And oh, if you want a picture to show with your comment, go get a Gravatar. You click it on, it's a link. It's going to bring you to the Gravatar page where you can sign in and it says get your Gravatar today right here. It's free. You can open it up. It's going to open up to me because I have one. But you can open it up. You can set up your free account. All you really need is your name and your email address and a website if you have one. And then, of course, you want to um, to make sure that that you put a photo in. So you can upload a photo from your drive, your laptop, your desktop, and then you can kind of position it because you want to make sure that your photo fits into the box, etc. So you want a fairly small photo. That's all it is. You hit save and you have your own account. You can always go in and update your photo in the future if you want to change it or whatever. But going back to NH Realty Scoops to the blog in question, if you don't want to scroll down, if you don't want to read all the comments, um, if you've already been here before and you just want to leave another comment right at the top of the post to the right hand side, it says leave a comment. If I click this open, it's going to bring you right down to the bottom of the post again and you can put in your name, 
you know, in your address, etc. If you've been on the blog before and you've written a post before, it would automatically probably show up for you. You won't have to retype it. It's only the first few times I think that that happens. So love to have your comments, love to have your feedback on this. This is an important issue. But make sure you, you read the post and you listen to Ron Phipps. There's lots of pros. There's lots of things that we need to be concerned about. And there certainly is a lot of people that are dead set against it. This will be coming to vote in May. So I would really love your input. So that's it in a nutshell for all of my non-techie friends. How do you leave a blog? I mean, how do you leave a comment on nhrealtyscoops.com? Very easy to do. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Mm -hmm.